Hello ladies and gentlemen, welcome to Harrison Ultimate Gaming. I'm Brian Harrison, and welcome back to another Minecraft video. It's a new week, a new video. Alright, well today, I'm going to be fishing. And then we're going to be talking. Yeah, talking, talking. But before we get started and all that, um, I want to remind you to please comment, subscribe, um, leave a like, and a bell notification. That would be much appreciated. And I want to thank you if you have. Thank you so much. Um, I'll, I, I, and don't forget to watch other videos. That's what I need to say. You know, I got GTA videos. I got uh, the racing, Star Wars racing video, or pod racing. Uh, of course, Minecraft. This is what I'm doing now. Um, and I started Police Simulator, which I will do again this week. All right. So stay tuned for more videos. That's, that's what's going to be exciting. All right. Let's get going. All right. So before we get started, let's see. I was determining what I do with. I want to clear out my inventory, first of all. And I'm going to only take the essentials. I fill our essentials. So I'll have a few tools that are new, already in my hotbar. And I'll have some torches. Now, the reason why is I need to collect resources. That's what I need to do. But trees are growing over there in the tree farm. I just did that last night. I need a smelt for more stone. And if you haven't seen it, I have another video. But I'll we'll walk by there for a little bit. I will walk by there real quickly because we're going to go fishing. I have this community area for smelting. Now, I have my own little smelter. I have my own smelter like this. But as you can see, I fill it up with wood from the last smelt. I smelt more brick stone like, like, uh, like this stuff right here that you see. So, yeah. There you go. Except we're not smelting stairs. We're just smelting the brick stone. And I can finish the bottom of the brock and then start building on the inside to make it out our home. Um, yes. Exciting. All exciting stuff. Um, this is, this is the, the first, well... This Walden area is the first area, and it will probably be the last time you see that type, that cobblestone type of wall. Hopefully, it may not be completely the last area of time. Let's get something to eat. I'm gonna fish at night because we don't have phantoms in this version. This is the Xbox One version. I'm not the only one. There's a guy who's already moved over. I happened to stumble upon someone else's video um, doing the same thing. They were playing this version for the last year or so. It sounds like maybe even before, but they were they were recording at least for the last year before they moved over to. They're now moving over to Bedrock. I have not decided whether I'm going to yet, but it will happen. Let's see what we can catch. The thing I want to remind you, the thing I don't want to remind you guys, but the thing I want to talk about is I still, in some ways, it's a reminder um, that I'm still going to move over, but it's just I'm not. Oh, I need for. Oh no, I need to focus on fishing. Um, anyway, too. But it's going to be... It's going to take some time to move over. So, you know. Um, but, ooh, name tag. That's pretty good. I have quite a few of those, though, but still. I do like that. Um, it's just... I don't know. I, I would like to finish this area that I just walled in. Now, the outer area... Is the f it's not going to be totally finished. Um, the buildings. There's just a couple of buildings that I probably will uh, tighten up and finish um, the mine. Um, I need to finish that over there. Um, I could probably take you along for the journey. I am thinking about it. Um, right now, I'm going to have to gather resources. And I, I got to a point one time where I had tools enchanted. So that's what I want to focus on. I do have a chance of diamond. But I need to find more diamond. And... I mean, it's a good thing to make diamond armor, and I would like to do that too, and enchant that. I don't, I have iron armor. I don't always enchant it, though. Um, but I've never really, I don't, yeah, I've, I've enchanted a few diamond, or I've had a few ch diamond armor enchanted. But I've, where I really was focused at the time was diamond. So, that's what I'm hoping for. Uh, we'll see what, we'll see what happens. But it was just a time for me to take a break and talk. Plus, I do need to I need do need to fish and collect. I really do need to collect some resources. 
Um, I have no problem with stone right now. I have no problem with dirt. I just have a problem where I need to finish the rock and smelting the stone so I can make the brick stone that you see, you know, on the road and in our and our spawn. Yeah, I'm fishing. <laughs> I'm fishing in the water feature in spawn. Um, oh, that's another thing. So even though I'm fishing here, uh, now in our brock, I'll put a fishing hole down at the very bottom. I, I'll show you at, either as it's completed or as I built it. Um, like I said, this this world is. I'm constantly building on this world, so there's there's it's not going to be like a start from nothing to everything. Um, I could do that. I don't know if people would like that if I did a complete start, just an actual start from everything. Um, I just decided I didn't want to do like a ton of Minecraft worlds and then kind of, you know, um, you can pull, push out other games, let's say that. Of course, I could do an every other week thing where I focus this week on this and next week on the other thing, come out with maybe even come out with my own little schedule, hopefully. But um, in time, that will happen. <coughs> Sorry about that, but you know, it's, it, this stuff is going to take time. I'm, I'm hoping to see as time goes on what happens. But I am doing this for now. <clears throat> I mean, I could potentially start a survival world. Um, I could do it on the PS4. I mean, I have a PS4. I could just go ahead and do that and do a. Better Together Edition. I have mods and add-ons. Well, the free ones on that one. So, I don't have... Oh, Kirsch, I'm vanishing. I don't know. I don't know if I like that enchantment too much. Well, I guess it's okay. I could see it if... I guess you're concerned about people stealing stuff or... Uh, yeah, I don't know. And when you die, it disappears or something. So no one else gets it. Well, yeah. So I, it's so. Oh, the other. So yeah, we're gonna. I'll have to have a community fishing area. There is an area outside. I haven't pointed out too much, but it makes like a ni nice natural harbor. So I think I will be building a harbor deal there. I just haven't decided what I'm going to do and how I'm going to proceed on building that because I'm, you know, I'm gonna be focused on this first. Then, if we can't move over, then I'll start focusing on the outer area, building, you know, building stuff here and there. Uh, but now, my focus is to finish what's in here, so that it is 100% functional with no, you know, like, I still got stuff to do in the mall there. There are things I will do, so it, you know, to, like, lighting on the floor or something, I mean, I might use pumpkin. Um, there's going to be, I'm going to put couple at least a couple stalls in there and may be divided in two so they may be divided into smaller stalls so there'll be a total of actually four inside the inside there there's a couple areas I could put a couple stalls out make it look good um, for more I guess potential for more potential shops so we'll see how it goes in the meantime we're fishing that's kind of a beautiful night look at the moon I like the moon. Uh, I do like I, I I like this. This is this is nice. Um, the add-ons. Well, well, it'll depend. It'll depend how soon we move over. I have quite a few add-ons already, as it is. So I'll have quite a bit to jump into when I get over there. Um, because I, I this is the preferred version I play. Uh, the, like I said, the switch. I have a switch version and a PS. Fourth, they only have the free add-ons. If there's a free add-on, it's downloaded to those two consoles. But, too, because it's free. But other than that, if I have a lot more add-ons for this version, that even some paid ones, than I do for the the other versions, too. So, so it's, it's going to be a, a lot more funner because of that. But, you know, I'm not afraid to start a Minecraft world, I guess, that is a let's play that goes from start to finish. A lot of people do it. Um, I just decided not to right now because I don't just do Minecraft videos. I want to do other gaming 
videos and so yeah I just thought doing a little fishing spending some time on YouTube would be kind of fun I I did you know I did plan on trying to do some stuff but or I thought about doing some stuff at least with finishing my house my home but other things ha other things happen so I didn't do I did quite a bit still um, I still had to dig out the area I ran into quite a bit of lava and finally that got all sorted um, I may have to I know I'll probably run into more lava when I dig out of the city so but it'll still be kind of cool I mean it will I'll dig and then we'll build I don't know if you guys really want to see all that I may or I may not I, I tend to have a habit of even when I build like a survival home or eventually I end up building underneath that survival home you know or I do it right off the bat because I could put stuff under the ground and then later build above above ground so more you know but we'll see what what happens it'll be exciting to see yeah how this area turns out um, for now it'll just be this the other thing is I'm also playing I am playing with some add-ons already um, with a friend and I'm playing on the room so I already so I already know what I'm getting into with the add-ons because I already am playing with them um, so it's 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 gonna be exciting to see this world see if I can move this world forward the, the reason why I want to move this world forward well why don't you just stay on the realm so it's a friend's realm number one and I, I am playing on there number two he also has played on this world, um, and he has a castle outside the outside the main town or city. Uh, I saw town because I don't. I think city is large area, not. I mean, it's not quite as what I would consider a, a city city, you know, with you know what you consider what cities really have. But it's you know it it, it has a, it, it, this has been built on for quite a while. Especially since after uh, the problems with the Caves and Cliffs update and how, how that ruined our world. And, and it was this world it ruined. And it's funny because in this world started out with just, you know, I, I all I did is start in here. I'm, I obviously cut down a few trees apparently, made a crafting table a bed, that was it. And let's explore the area on the map a little bit. And then it said, cool, we could build here, and then moved it over. And that was that was it. And then we spent two years on this world. This very world, building here. This spawn right here, if you ever watched our first touring video, this spawn in the Better Together edition was built as a huge square with a fountain in the middle. But you could spawn around. A spot, you, when you sp spawn, you were more likely not to end up in the fountain, I don't think. Because uh, it did spawn you. But it was such a big spawn. It's way bigger than this spawn is. I mean, this spawn is pretty decent size. But this, th it covered the whole area. Like, yeah, it covered the whole area. Even back, yeah. So the fountain was not on top of spawn. I had marked out spawn. Um, sp that when you originally spawned in, you spawned in looking at the fountain. But you spawned in close, sort of close. Not really super close to a pillar. I mean, you, you kind of were away. You still were away, but it was such a big square. I, built a, I did build a fountain and made this certain area, the, the whole area spawn, basically. Okay, efficiency, efficiency four. Ooh, uh, sharpness three, protection two, three. That's kind of cool. Yeah, we'll have to put that to use. I'll have to make another pickaxe or axe or something. I know that's that's one of my goals is to make even enchanted tools. So I can, like, especially with mending. Oh, there you go, name tag. Um, so we're building in this version until that version is what we consider 100% stable. This version is stable. Is there? Does that mean there's no occasional glitches? Yes, but I can live with an occasional glitch versus a constant problem of running the game. You know, where they update it and your city is going to fall. Now, the good thing about this. Uh, I've said this even to my woman. The good thing about this, let's say we move it over and something does happen for some reason. We can still move back here. There's no, it, it would not. 
I don't want to do that if I move forward because then you're going to lose all that and you're going to have to start back over and uh, build where you left off in this one. But well, that's why I want to finish stuff. That's my main goal. So if I finish stuff, then if I have to start back, it's not complete like, well, we really finished in this new version and now we're, we have a half finished building, at least in the area of a half finished building or like it's at least if we can fully finished. Like I'd like to finish the hospital that we have in here, fire station. I'd like to finish the bank that we have over in the shopping center. Certain things I want of church. It's another one. That'd be kind of cool. It'd be kind of cool to do some stuff in the church. Um, even the government building, town hall, if you want to call it that. It's more like, because I do want to build a bigger government building. And boy, do I have plans for some of that type of stuff. Okay, let's throw this back in again. Uh, there we go. I usually leave it in there, but I may have been distracted. But, uh, you know, so it's it's going to be... it's Except for the apartments. So the, the only things I do not build is uh, general houses or apartments. So I'll build the structure, but I won't exactly put in the... the here, let's do this. Okay. So I won't actually put in the the stuff because and it's cool. It worked, it's worked out that way in the past. So a new person comes in or another person, like say my friend, he doesn't have a shop yet. He comes in, he can just pick a place and put his own stuff inside. And people tend to like to do that. At least the friends I've played with like to, you know, hey, if there's a ready house or apartment, they like to just decorate their own, which that's a good thing. It started with Harrison City inadvertently because I just built the buildings at the time and, um, and we built next to what was going to be my house, but it became Town Hall after the first signs that when they updated it, always go well. And so I had to start world over again. And that's and then since then, it's been I do well for a while. Then I start over. So we got to kind of I'm kind of tired of that because then I have never I have not been able to do things because I'm so focused on building a city so I can do certain things like take on the dragon. I did build in the nether and Midgard. That's one probably the only things I did. Harrison City, I don't think at the time was able or yeah, so it just didn't happen. But and then yeah, I didn't do it even in this in this world. I've never this world's never had a a portal even in the new version when I moved it over there because again I was focused on building this massive castle um, and I finished it. I I finished it with. How many months did it take? I forget how exact months it took me to at least get it mostly there. There was still stuff that needed to be done, but most of the main stuff, like the what the what the places were going to be, like there were meeting rooms and uh, I, I don't even I don't think there were offices. Uh, I plan like in this in this town hall, there are already offices laid out. So that's going to be fun. That's going to be exciting. Yeah, there are offices laid out in the town hall already. I can, I'm going to put spruce wood in there because I like the spruce as like a furniture thing. Now I'm, I think that's, spruce has been my favorite. What I also like as a roofing material, if you haven't noticed on buildings, I do use it. So, but yeah, I, I do. I love it. It's it's gonna be it's what we're gonna see what time goes on what I what I do, I mean, I guess what I wanted to say is I didn't want to do tons of Minecraft and not a not other things. So this this may be called fishing and here let's put the fishing rod out. Let's see if I can see myself there. This video may be called fishing and talking. So here you go. This may be good for the video or this may be a good. I may use this for. The, let's see if I could let's see if I could square it in there like that see then I could put like fishing and talking or something like that so yeah there you go what fun okay there you, yeah so that'd be good to have that as a picture later on I have to go find it because because uh, I don't want to constantly do I could but just focus on this world mainly doing world tours the problem is this 
if you're looking for like a start, I haven't done one. I could do one. It's not. It's not impossible to do one. Like where I actually just start out uh, in a place I want to be in, because I I'm particular where I build. Um, I like oak and birch forest, so I like and I like to spawn in an area where it's nice to be able to build in that area. Uh, you know, not too crazy. So. This area wasn't too crazy, but we still had to flatten out quite a bit of land and build here. That's why it took quite a while. But I did this before YouTube. I did, we did a lot of this building before YouTube. I did most of the building, but my woman still helped with collecting resources, helped me level out the land. So she did help quite a bit. And I liked that, especially with the fishing, because she, we once we got fishing, she was fishing for food. So that helped me not worry about having to survive. Because we were able to fish, we didn't have to grow crops right off the bat. Because we were able, we got string. We, I think we killed a spider for it. I want to say we may have killed a spider for it, but and then we built, and then I built while she was doing that. I built the first thing I built was this, was this um, spawn area to make it so people would spawn in. Once I did that, the buildings ended up. The next building was the what I call starter house, homeless shelter for those who are just starting. They at least have an instant bed sleep at night and until they decorate their apartment or you know stuff like that so and then the next building was the was the barn which got removed and moved down there by the by the it's the same barn it just got moved down by the um, horse stables right next door right next door and then the castle went in and then and then the the shopping center Oh no, the church went in next, actually. And then the shopping center. And then the Coliseum, or well, Fighting Arena. I can't call it true Coliseum because of the size. Because the Coliseum is more a specific building. Because I did, in Rome, like I mentioned in one of my videos, or I think in my last video, they did build. It wasn't the first time they built a structure that was round or where they fought people. It was the first time, I guess, they built that big of a structure. So... They built, Rome had so-called Colosseums where they would have little fighting arenas, but they would only fit like maybe two, three hundred people or something. They didn't fit a lot of people. Uh, and then until the Colosseum, which was the huge deal, which fit thousands on, you know, just like, it's like having, going from a, a high school football field to all of a sudden a professional football field is pretty much what they went, that's pretty much what they did, they built. So they went from all a bunch of these little smaller fighting arenas to one big arena. I think they still had the smaller ones. I don't think that changed necessarily, just having the one big one where everybody basically could come together, or most everybody, and they had a lot going on. And yeah, like I said, it's like going from a small football field to a massive football field where there's all this stuff going on. There's food, there's just like what you'd see in a, a football stadium, except maybe there it would be different but similar concept so football stadiums in their own right especially the big ones are in their own right you can almost consider them a type of coliseum but that's not what they're called so but do i plan to build one of those maybe a bigger coliseum oh yeah uh, that was the first actually the first coliseum i built was out of wood and it wasn't or the first fighting arena I built out of wood, it was misshaped. Actually, I realized later if I did it, it would have, if I did it with the perfect shape, it would have been the perfect. It would have been out of wood, but it would have been very perfect. So I did it, build one one time, but it was short lived. It was only me on that world at the time. I had built some barracks because I'd gone through different ways of starting. Where if you're starting with multiple people, you know then it's easier to build something so you all can have a place to stay for safety and then work from there. I mean, we've had, I've had the idea of building barracks, which has worked off and on. And then I had an idea, then we built, one time we built one house where it had two rooms, but it was considered like, now almost not, not just necessarily a house. It was more like a, like a, uh, what do you call it? A northern, or it was a weird Nordic, I would say Nordic, Nordic build, where the bottom floor is where, you know, you have your food, your kitchens, people come together, you know, people would 
Greek the King that way, stuff like that. And then the upper rooms, which was in this building, the upper rooms where people slept. So, you know, just that that type of that type of build, which is nice. So it's nice to have that type of build, to be honest. I I actually enjoyed. I built a long Viking longhouse one time too, that I used mostly for feasting and stuff. That'd be kind of fun to do that again too. But yeah, we're gonna be building in this world. We're gonna be having. I'm gonna have quite a bit of fun. Seeing what I've been fishing up. Let's see. Um, so. We already looked at that book. Sharpness and Punch. That's the That's the book. And then of course we're getting fish. See lily pads. Yeah. Oh that's like what's the cool thing with the add-ons is I don't know I don't know if it adds more to fishing, but the one we have, we have it's kinda cool to have the nature stuff and like alligators can actually kill you. <laughs> um bears can you know. Especially if they have cubs. You gotta be careful of black bears and brown bears and grizzly bears and 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 the one I'm playing with my friend. And I have all that stuff for this prepared for this world. And I have quite a bit of stuff prepared for this world. I even have a tool. That's the other thing. Over there, I just made a tool in the in realms, and it's an add-on, where I don't ever need another tool again. It's axe, it's an axe, pickaxe, a shovel. I just take that with me, and I don't have to take the tools I take halfway with me to do all that stuff. I can just do all that stuff with the one tool. I can be clearing some land go, oh, man, I forgot about the tree. Oh, no problem. Use the same tool, clear the tree, and continue moving forward. I think it's kind of cool. I'm ready to see what will what will happen. And, I mean, it's really nice playing with that tool. But, you know, again, once I move this over, I'll be able to do all that. It's fun. I think add-ons is add-ons is what was needed for for console because it was always so inter it's sad and f almost a little frustrating to see that unless you had PC and I did have a PC version, but I didn't play it that often because people I played with played on console. So and I enjoyed it on console because I could just sit back like I'm doing now and just play and I enjoy it. But on console, I was the only you know you didn't have any of the add-ons and you looked at. How are people doing all this? Well, they were, you know, it's PC, so they were doing all the add-ons, and they have carts and wagons, they had boats, and farming, all this farm food, like Farmer's Delight, you can look that up. Um, there's all kinds of stuff with farming, you know, like even with along with the wagons, farming, like a plow that will plow the ground for you, which, seeing the people who were running it, it looked really easy and like it just it was really nice there's a saddle see oh so i i also got leather saddle leather leather's gonna be great because that's another thing see um that i forgot about you building a library in this one um and even without the add-ons there's new stuff that i liked in that one like you don't have tridents you don't have the drowned you don't have um well phantoms that's what i can say if you don't have phantoms here so but that's the only thing i may not exactly miss even though they're kind of even though I have not exactly been attacked by them, because I usually don't stay up. I usually just go to bed. So I, I've i heard them, but I've never actually been out to be attacked by them yet. Uh, but <clears throat> there's other, like, there's going to be newer stuff added, like the new dogs and Armadillo, which is not added too long ago. And, they're, and the new dogs are not new, because wolves have always been there, but new color types. There's new variants, different biomes. So there are new in some ways, like what they do with the cats, where they change the colors and and you can find them in villages and stuff. They, they did the same thing with the dogs. Um, but they also added armor for the dogs, with the armadillo. <clears throat> and there's a way to get that stuff. So, And the dogs, man, the dogs can really do well. And you can repair their armor by just, while well, it's on them, by just crouching and, I guess, yeah, right? Like when you're placing stuff, which would be... A left click yeah so yeah uh, if you're on a controller but anyway or left yeah so it's just it's just it's gonna be exciting to get over there and well there's new foods too like for the most part I'm growing most of the foods the only thing I'm and I'm even growing cactus but there it's outside the city it's there's an automatic cactus I may put one inside 
here just to have one here, but um, I have an automatic cactus. That's what helped me finish the green glass, and I want to dye besides just this regular white clear glass. So I use green on the tower. Yeah, but you know I would do another tower with orange and blue and yellow and pink. And, you know, just do it all. That'd be that'd be kind of funny if I could. Um, but that may actually take time, more time than I want to do it. But it's just that, it's just, you know, that type of stuff, I guess. Let's see here. Oh, we're fishing up. Look at all these enchanted bows. I actually have an enchanted bow. But see, that's one of the things. Once you get, even in this game, there gets a point where you're just like, hey. Yeah, I've seen it. Oh, let's see, let's see. Uh... Uh, nah, eh. If you want to, I guess. Not always good. But, I've, you know, it will take time. Uh, there's a metro I want to I wanna build under. It will probably go under the Coliseum slash under the... Or under the Fighting Arena col mini, mini Coliseum. Anyway, it will go under th there. Um, when I go underground there, there's a spot already in the mall that I could build stairs going underground and I planned on doing that I just haven't done it yet because I need to finish all this other stuff I also need to finish the the starter house so that there's the beds out there for plenty of people um, there I need to finish our house the first thing I'm trying to finish is our house so that I can go on like I need to build the storage in so I could start storing goods in there um, fishing so my mama could go in and she could just hop in and start fishing um, so there's stuff I want to do down there first before I get into before I get into other things. Right now I'm growing trees. That's what's stopping this. I'm growing trees so I can so I can cut them down. Hopefully they're growing by now. But oh, that's what I'm doing in our tree farm. I need to build a bigger. Tree. I need to. That's another thing. Um, I plan to over by the mine, maybe building a tree farm with the mine so that there's trees there so I can smelt ores right away. Um, I plan to build underground in the mine to make like a little underground starter area where you could where if you're mining you don't have to get from underground you can just stay in the basically stay in the um, little er there'll be a little area for like living quarters or something where people could stay um, while they're mining in the mine oh and that's another thing there's there's cool mining stuff I mean some people, you could debate whether it's worth it or not. I think it was kind of cool just to run around with the mechs. And you can have one chops down trees, the other you can put them for mining. and uh, It's kind of fun to mess around with that type of stuff. Um, does it make it easier? Yeah, in some ways it, it's funner too, not just easier. Sometimes it's just fun to play with this stuff. Um, I am excited to get over there eventually. But I got to remember curb my excitement and wait to make sure the game is stable enough for us to be over there. Um, and we can we can play, and have fun over there. But in the meantime, I want to focus. I need. I I have a focus in finishing this area, building. I want to. I do want to start carving underground so I can build. Um, so I can build, in the area. You know, make it. Um. Where there's stuff underground too, because I will. I'll, I'll put quite a bit of stuff underground. I haven't decided. I'll probably put like a library. The metro thing. I've already decided. Um, to put like well. Why? Why? It doesn't need to be called Metro, but it's a mine cart. It's you know mine cart station that will be underground, and kind of like our own little mine cart subway system, I guess. So that'll be fun. And but in the meantime, and then after that, I do want to focus. Even if I let's say I were to build and I didn't move over, I still want to focus once I finish the area. Well, what what's going to happen once I finish here? Well, I would like to build a harbor. I like to kind of grow the city more, but I want to also collect resources so growing the city is easier to do. So whether that be a cobblestone generator in this world where I can just sit there and cobble, get cobblestone without having to mine and get cobblestone because you can make cobblestone, basic cobblestone generator, you know. So there's stuff I'd like to do, make sure, I need to make sure the barn is organized better and make sure that there's colored sheep so I can get wool and start collecting that. And once, that's the th the habit I may have to get into is collect resources, and I may, and we may have to make a video during that time where I'm standing there harvesting sheep or doing something like that. Anyway, I almost filled up my inventory right now. So, anyway, this has been a long video. I'm sorry about that. 
uh, if you stay to the end, thank you very much. Um, I just I did want to get into making a video here. Let's let's stand over here somewhere. I guess where uh, let's go back to where we were. I here. Let me. I hope you I hope you enjoyed the video though. Look at wow. Okay. Anyway, I do hope you enjoyed the video. Um, see, that's the tower behind. That's the skyscraper. So that's the plan was to grow the city, and of course then we'd move over to bedrock. But yeah, I do hope you enjoyed the video though. Um, I do need to go and work and edit on this video. Um, I do hope you enjoyed it. Please leave a comment and subscribe and hit a like and the bell notification so you can be reminded of more videos like this. Um, and don't forget to watch my other videos. There's a playlist. There's even an active playlist on my homepage that I'm uploading. And then there's stuff that's not active because I either don't, <clears throat> I'm not really uploading constantly or it's just older videos I'm not doing anymore. So I hope to, I hope to see you next time when we do it again on Monday, hopefully for this. Um, I hope we could get more exciting stuff, but we'll see what happens. Um, until then, bye.